Today we'll be installing a Xantrex Freedom SW3012 inverter charger for our customer Pippi. Pippi's a full-time RVer who enjoys traveling the US in her RV home and wants nothing but the best of technology for her AC power needs. Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about the installation for Pippi? Well, today we're going to be uh, removing uh, a converter charger and installing the Xantrex Freedom SW3012. See, Pippi's RV came equipped with an old converter charger, which provided DC power for battery charging uh, and other DC loads inside of her RV, uh, as long as an, uh, another AC source was present. Since the vast majority of modern electronics are AC powered, you really need a reliable source of clean AC power uh, to operate these appliances, especially when you're dry camping or traveling all the time. Uh, this is where we thought of installing uh, the Xantrex Freedom SW series uh, inverter charger. You know, it's a it's a pure sine wave inverter, which provides a steady and clean AC power source and also charges batteries quickly and efficiently uh, without overcharging them, which will increase the uh, service life of her batteries. Also, with a built-in transfer switch, it'll seamlessly transfer AC power uh, from shore power uh, to operate downstream AC loads and charge batteries. What's really cool about this uh, inverter charger is the full function system control panel and highly advanced comm box a communication device will enable Pippi to enjoy all the great features of her new inverter, uh, including remote monitoring of the Freedom SW from her tablet or laptop. Wow, it, it sounds like this inverter has some really cool features that'll allow Pippi to really enjoy this new inverter charger. So why don't we go out and get this project started? Let's do it. So we'll go ahead and get started uh, doing this install uh, here right now. Uh, the first step is go ahead and make sure that uh, uh, we're disconnected from any 120 volts AC sources and uh, disconnect our, our batteries from the system uh, so that we can uh, properly and safely do the, uh, uh, do the install. So uh, that's been done already, so I'll go ahead and get the old converter uh, out, of, uh, out of the way and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and mount the, uh, the inverter charger uh, in its location and make our uh, AC and DC connections, uh, as well as uh, hook up our SAN bus cables for the, uh, the auto gen start and the, uh, the remote system uh, uh, interior readout panel. So uh, first thing, we'll go ahead and, uh, and get this guy set uh, in its placement and, uh, and screw it to the, uh, uh, the, the uh, bottom of the panel here. So. Now that we got it securely mounted, we're going to go ahead and make our, our DC connections. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make our, our AC connections. Uh, this is number 10 Romex. Uh, this is going to be our 30 amp. Uh, supply to the inverter charger. Uh, this will do uh, when you're plugged into shore power. It provides the uh, the 110 volts uh, AC uh, via the pass through uh, transfer switch. So it will power the uh, downstream loads uh, through the inverter, and, and uh, it will also provide the the uh, 
uh, 120 volts AC uh, to the inverter uh, to charge the batteries uh, when it's in the in its charge mode. So. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do here is, is can make our, uh, our battery temperature sensor connection to the inverter, uh, our ZAN bus cable connection, and then our network terminator uh, in the, uh, the empty uh, ZAN bus interface uh, port. So we'll go ahead and plug port, uh, one of the ports. We'll plug our ZAN bus cable into the open port. And we'll plug our battery temperature sensor into the port labeled BTS. And that's it. So now we're ready to go ahead and open up the uh, 120 volts AC uh, load distribution panel and isolate the loads that's gonna, that are gonna be powered from the inverter. And uh, uh, we'll remove those uh, loads uh, and ultimately install those into a sub panel um, and, uh, and then get it wired. So what we have here, we have three loads that we're going to remove from the main panel uh, and, and go through the inverter uh, and ultimately wire into the sub panel. Uh, two of them are just general purpose uh, uh, circuits uh, for outlets and, and miscellaneous uh, uh, 110 volt uh, 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 circuits and then one is for the microwave. Okay, so all that's left being powered up to the main panel is our 30 amp main uh, breaker from either shore power or generator and the, the 20 amp uh, breaker that uh, is for the air conditioners. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, mark our profile out of our sub panel, uh, get it uh, installed, and wire our uh, uh, wire our loads uh, that come from the inverter uh, to our breakers here, and uh, and go from there.
Okay, so now we have our sub panel uh, mounted, our, 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 uh, our cutouts made and our sub panel mounted. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and install our, our uh, AC lines from the inverter and our uh, AC loads that are gonna be powered by the and through the inverter. Okay, so the sub panel is wired uh, for the inverter now. Uh, what we're going to do now is, is uh, uh, install a new 30 amp breaker uh, in our uh, main panel uh, that will feed the inverter, and we'll hook our uh, our 102 Romex up to uh, up to that breaker. Uh, so now we have our, our sub panel installed, uh, our 30 amp main uh, running from the uh, main panel to the inverter and all of our AC and DC connections made. Uh, so now it's time to go ahead and uh, mount the system control panel, make our, our ZAN bus uh, interface cable connections uh, and then ultimately uh, hook up the comm box. Okay, so we have completed our AC connections at our sub panel uh, and from our main panel uh, to the inverter. Uh, we've completed our DC connections at the inverter and, and reconnected our battery connections 
uh, at the batteries. Uh, we've networked uh, the AGS uh, and the system uh, and the system control panel, and uh, networked the com box uh, as well. And that'll complete the installation of the Xantrex Freedom SW series uh, inverter charger. So, Mike, it looks like that installation went smoothly. Well, it did. You know, the Xantrex uh, Corporation makes a product that's very easy to install and, and very customer friendly uh, for the user end uh, to operate the equipment after after installation. Um, you know, I think Pippi's going to be really happy with uh, how easy it is to use, and and uh, the com box especially will make it. Uh, uh, very simple for her to monitor the system, uh, you know, from anywhere. Whether she can, you know, use her laptop or her uh, or her tablet. So, uh, we also would like to thank Xantrex uh, Corporation for uh, uh, providing the products and that they provide and and um, uh, providing the post sale support that they do.